Hi everybody. Welcome back and we're going to start today. We are getting ready to go to the sandblaster with the car and this one's going to be Stang 67 and we have a Roadster shop chassis which you may or may not have seen in an earlier video. And if you haven't seen that video go back and check it out. Yes. But we are tearing apart the car which as you can see. Yeah, as you can see, there wasn't much to tear apart. There was a lot of it that was in the car when we got it. But as you can see, the paint's flying off. Hence the reason we're going to <laughs> sandblast. Yes. Um, a lot of times you would say, why don't you just sand it and repaint the car? This car's that reason why you don't do that. Right. Um, but if you, esposa or a key? On my way. On your way. <laughs> we have to cut out basically the shock towers. We got to cut out all of this. All the steering components got to go. Everything's got to go for the Roadster shop chassis. Tear the lines out. Steering gearbox column. All that's got to come out. And interior is already gutted. Everything's out of it, but the nice little broke steering wheel. Thanks to your Esposa today. Ah, uh, yes. Esposa been, did a wonderful job. I've been busy today. Yes. There was a lot. All of that in the floor was... In the car. In the car. So, in case you're wondering why the paint looks this way, <laughs> this is the paint that we peeled off the car just by grabbing it yeah. and peeling it. The paint would come off in strips. Yeah, so we uh, we need to see what's under it. Yeah. And uh, there's the chassis that's going under the car. So we're trying to get everything ready that when it gets warm, we can paint the car and put it on the chassis. So. Yeah. I think we need a few more Power Tour stickers. I haven't, I haven't updated the paint booth since 2019, which oh. 2020 didn't happen. But I haven't put any more. We got to get busy. I know. I got to put more of my power tour stickers. I just realized you put Holly LS Fust on there. Yeah, I did. I had them on the bottom, but. Okay. Anyway, sorry, Squirrel. Yeah, Squirrel. Very nice chassis, though. We're very excited about it. Yeah. And the five speed that was in the trunk. Oh, yes. Is going to need a minute or two in the, in the transmission spa before it's yeah. <laughs> it's gonna need a, a little bit of work it needs a little bit of dlc it needs some it's, love it's it's having a moment but don't worry um but yeah i don't know whose paint that was or whether it was the guy that did it but there seems to be work have been done to this quarter that's exposing itself and we we need to see what's and there. we need to see what's there so we're going to the blaster we're going to make a visit and, then it's and gonna... we're going to show you guys that day. Oh, yes. We're going to show you that day. We're going to see our friends at TDB Blasting. But, yes, we are. And all of the all of suspension gets removed. Remember the shock towers. Yeah, remember the shock towers. They're all coming out. But we'll show you all that when we do it. And the fenders seem good. Yeah. They just need blasted. The paint is, like I say, just comes off with your fingers. We have many, many miscellaneous parts. I don't know how we ended up with two ponies. Maybe we could put them in the car on top of each other, and it would be twice the pony power. <laughs> I don't know. But, and for everyone interested, we are leaving a Ford in a Ford. We are. We are. But if you come to this car... This car is the reason we have a second car. <laughs> if you look in, oh yes, the lightning, the speed lightning holes here that uh, got in, you know, rust installed. And the cool feature was if I can show. They sold the car to them saying they'd put floor pans in it. I can't see though. It's hard to see. Oh, we need a light? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, let me get a light. Well, I'll, my man me. I'll show them the nice interior we have here. I didn't realize that all the gauges were in this one. Yeah, this one was an assembled running, driving car before it decided to fall apart. Oh, you found a light? Yes. There we go. Now we can see. Yeah. See, there's like this strange texture on the floor. Yes. They said they put floor pans in it. It was just sheet metal laid in the floor. It's not actually a floor pan oh. put in the car. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, it wasn't. The holes were never fixed. They didn't even bother putting sheet metal screws to put it down. Mm. And this was, this was my favorite. They put tape over the holes. They taped. Neat feature. And then painted it. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's white duct tape with paint over top of it. Oh, I didn't see the, oh, it is. Mm. So yeah, basically this car is a rust bucket, but it's gonna be the parts car. The owner wants to use, well, the hood, I ain't gonna fold the hood, but he wants the signal light hood. I, I have to agree with him on that. Yeah, I, yeah, he wants to put the signal light hood on the I car, so I'm, we're gonna take it to the blaster. Okay. But yeah, this is gonna be the parts car. We are robbing everything necessary off this car like trim pieces and whatever we're missing from that car. Right. And we're gonna put it on. Yeah. I like the old school Super Sun tack. Mm -hmm. That's back in the day a little bit. Yes. But that was my, that was my personal favorite, the floorboards that weren't put in. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a salesman of the year. The duct tape, on the inner fender and the floorboards just laid in the car under the carpet. That's salesman of the year there. So we're gonna put a Ford in a Ford and it's gonna be a five speed car and have a Roadster shop chassis. And what was the color, honey? What was the? Black cherry. Black cherry. So the body work is gonna have to be on point. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, yeah. This so, we're, be... we're excited about this project. It's going to be fun. Yeah, so the next stop will be suspension out of this car. Okay. And put it up on the rotisserie. And we're going to have to put it in the trailer. Take it to the blaster. We'll show getting it sandblasted. Hopefully they can do the car in one day because if the paint's flying off as easy by hand, I'm hoping the blaster takes it off just like that. Right. So. But yeah, with the color being black cherry, we had to take it down just to see what was under it because that's not going to be a forgiving color at all. And the bubbles in the quarter panel worried me. Yes. For sure. Even even if I sanded those out, there's something under there that's going to come back. Mm -hmm. So I got to see what's under those bubbles before I can put black cherry on top of those bubbles. Right. Um, so we had kind of a snow day today. Um, the yes, high. It was, it was eight degrees when I came down here this morning. Yes. And the power went out last night and it was 44 degrees in here. But luckily the power, thank the Lord, the power came back on and we got the garage a little bit warmer. Yeah, it's nice in here now. It's not bad. I mean, yeah. it's it's our usual temp we work at. Yeah. So, but yes, we were thankful for the power company people for getting our power back <laughs> on because it was super cold. Last yeah, night. at eight degrees, it was going to freeze pretty fast. Stuff was going to freeze up real fast. And we got like three inches of snow a day ago approximately yeah. but that's all like it's all ice now it's all ice so yeah it it's fun if you didn't see our 
video of having to help a customer. Yeah, tow the customer out of the driveway with the yeah. bulldozer. Yeah. I'll insert just a tiny little clip of that. <laughs> yeah. Hong Kong and Snow Boss. No sound? No, you can't do that. It's, it's going to make your feet wet. Yeah, so, but right. yes, busy day today at yeah, a &D. so this was, this was episode one of tearing apart a Stang 67, getting ready to go to the blaster, and put it on a Roadster shop chassis. So, yeah, y'all hang on for the rest of it, and how we end all of our episodes, thank, thank you, you, Lord, thank, thank you for today. today.